using the quadratic formula. Now, the clue to the quadratic formula is this. Give, well, actually, it says it in this one, but if it doesn't say it, it will tell you to give your answers to correct to one decimal place or two decimal places. And that will be your, your clue that it is the quadratic formula. So the first thing you need to do is write the formula out, okay, and then work out the values for A, B, and C, okay making sure you consider the signs. So there's our formula, and there's our values we're going to use. Right, so now we substitute it all in, so there we have it, and we're going to work out the little bit underneath the bracket first of all. So here we go, we're going to do 20 squared minus 4, bracket 4, bracket minus, it's that minus, remember, 49, equals. Okay, so that gives me this part, okay, and I've also worked this out to get the 8. Right, now splitting the 2 up, so we've got minus 20 plus root 1184 over 8, or minus 20 minus root 1184 over 8. So again, just popping them into our calculators, here we go, the first one then, oops, is my, pressing the fractions button, minus 20 plus root 1184 over 8 equals, and that gives me 1.8, then there's no need to put it all back in, I can use this button, to go back through to the minus and ch to the plus, sorry, and changing it into a minus like that, press equals, and then I get my second value. Okay, question asks me to round to one decimal point.